Hey, what's going on guys? Spirit of Halloween here, and today we're going to do the setup of the animated Guardian of the Grave. Uh, now, first thing is I do apologize for the very awkward camera angle. It's very, very vertical, so it's kind of like this kind of thing. And I also uh, apologize for... Um, this very late upload, some of you guys might not even know this is up, it up, will be uploaded until tomorrow, but it's uploading tonight, I kind of got busy earlier today, sorry, it's been a very busy week with school and tests and everything, so this is kind of the first chance I've had this week. But anyway, without further ado, we're going to move on to the setup. Now, why a setup? Why do I want to do make a video of a setup when all my other videos are the very very typical demo and the review well i need some other videos so you guys won't be bored with uh you he uploaded another demo or uh, you upload another review of a prop that's sold out and it's really hard to find and if it is it's very expensive okay so the things you're going to get when you set this prop up or when you get the prop is the base the fog cord the fog cable, or the tube thing that hooks to the fog machine. The pole, which will actually be retracted. I have it extended. And the tombstone halves, the spikes, the two foot ones, and then the three stake ones. And the body with the fog cord. Okay, so the first thing you want to do uh, when you get your guardian of the grave is on the base and on the module, if you can see that, there are uh, two groove type things. It's like it's their twist to lock. Um, there's a big groove and a small groove. And on the base, there's a big groove and a small groove. What you want to do is make sure you line these two grooves up like so. Or you can match B to B or whatever letter it is. And then you twist the lock into place. Uh, the next thing uh, that you want to do is take the two cables, they're both labeled D, or whatever letter it is, and go ahead and clip them to place, observing the proper uh, polarity and the way that they go in. So, okay, so after you're done doing this, this is what you should have. You should have the two cables plugged in and the base. Uh, the next thing that you should, that uh, you're going to install next is the head. So how to do that is on the top there is yet again the same thing as the base. There's two grooves. This part might be really awkward but there's two sized grooves here. There's big and small. And on the head, <coughs> voice crack, I'm tired. Um, on the head, uh, if I can get the clothing to get pulled up, there is yet the same thing. There's the Big groove and small groove. Line these two grooves, the grooves up, and uh, go ahead and twist them to lock into place. And like I said, this part's gonna be kind of awkward because of the dang camera angle. No worries. Okay, so the next, so when you have that done, and it is on. Uh, there is a wire uh, right here. This wire is E. There is also another wire here coming from the head, uh, connect the, the wire coming from the base and the wire coming from the head together, matching E to E. Uh, and now, this is not really a necessary step. They say you do it, or you should do it, but there's a label tie mark, and you're supposed to slide this through here and then tie it on. I don't really do that, just because when he goes back down, he kind of, the tube bulges out and it doesn't look real. So I just do it without the tie mark. Um, I just pull the clothing down as such, or as shown, I guess. And, uh, that's really it for the Guardian. If you want, you can put four AA batteries in them. There's a screw. Or you can, and I'll just set them right here. Or you can, uh, use the, uh, adapters. I forgot to mention, this guy is also battery operated, like most techie animatronics are. Okay, so... That's really it for the Guardian. The other thing is, and this is not really necessary, but if you're using a fog machine, you're going to take this, insert this in like this, and then put this on the fog machine and then tighten each of these screws, these three screws, evenly down until the 
tube is on there nice and firm. Lee. And then there's this box connecting thing. You connect this to the back of your fog machine, plug your fog machine in, wait for it to warm up, then plug this into the back of the Guardian right here where it's labeled C. Just plug this in. It again, reserve, uh, observing the proper placement of the actual cording. And then turn them on. And then he should function normally. Now, if your guardian is coming up and the fog isn't blowing, then uh, push this relay switch. I don't. I found I didn't have to. Uh, so, you know. so that's about it for the guardian. Now we're going to finish the setup with uh, setting up the tombstone and kind of making it look really good. Okay, so uh, to, st to set up your tombstone, this thing comes with the three spikes. I already mentioned that in the first part. Um, so what you want to do is, uh, these holes are not going to be pre, um, pre, uh, hold, I guess, if you will. Um, there's going to be little, like, dots here, and then that's kind of where you want to poke in when you are, uh, setting up the tombstone and you're putting the two halves together. Make sure when you insert it, you want to insert it and you kind of want to look this way and then also look up and make sure it's going in very very straight otherwise and also you want to make sure you don't you don't put it too far back like right here or too far forward because it'll cut through and then it'll have like you know holes and stuff in the skulls and that's not cool but anyway um what you want to do first is um take the long metal spike and stab it through uh, so it kind of looks like this, and you also, you want to leave about two inches, I should probably say, about four inches, three or four inches sticking up, or just however many inches you think, or just your be best judgment, um, sticking up, uh, and then the same kind of thing goes for these two, just stick these in on the side, these are a bit thicker, so you don't have to worry too much about it, but I'd still pay close attention to it. Stick these two on the sides right here. This one I didn't actually push in all the way. There we go. Something like that. Uh, and then you're going to want to take your top piece of your tombstone like this. And you're going to want to slide it. Uh, and like I said, these will also, this will not also not come with the holes in them. So also use the whole lining up thing. You can kind of see right here when I was setting it up. I accidentally whomped on it a little bit or stepped on it. Uh, and that kind of happened, so that's what that is. Um, so the last part of setting up this tombstone is these foot spikes. Now these foot spikes can go in two ways. If you insert it like this, this is for like grass if you want to use it outside. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, and you want to stick it in the ground. You could put it like this and it'll kind of stick into the ground. But before you stick these into just any ground... If the ground is hard, well, actually, just do this for all grass types. Uh, take a screwdriver and stick it into the ground deep enough, about as deep as this or a little longer. And then that way, when you stick this in the ground, you don't accidentally snap your tombstone. And if it's a little windy, I found that it helped when it was like this. So it, this kind of made like a little bit of a... So when it pushes back, it kind of has something to push against and it doesn't push over. Um, but... If you're using it just on flat ground, you can just insert them like this. And you want to do the same for this one. Okay, so this is kind of what you have. I know you can't see it because of the camera angle, but this is a very straight tombstone. Uh, the very last thing um, that you want to do when you're finished setting, when you this last finished setting this guy up, because I can't talk, um, there's Velcros here and here on the tombstone. And on the arms, there's also Velcros on sewn on right here, and then the other sleeve. Uh, just put the tombstone in front of the guardian, like this. Uh, well, just put the tombstone right here, and then put the guardian behind it, the tombstone. And then attach the sleeves via the Velcros on the tombstone and the sleeves, or on, on the arms, sleeves, things, whatever. And uh, that should be it. Uh, if you're using this prop with four AA batteries, make sure they're brand new because, well, this prop will work with batteries. 
but I find that you want to make sure they're new or somewhat new. Okay, so that about sums, sums up the uh, setup of the Guardian of the Grave. That's really it. There's really not much to this prop. He's a pretty easy prop to set up. Some not as easy as some of the other ones, but he's pretty simple. Uh, if you guys have any questions about this particular animatronic or any others, uh, leave your question in the comment section below. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you are new to this channel and you're just this is your first video, subscribe. You know, it'll help me get my channel out there and you help me make tons of cool, awesome videos that you guys will hopefully enjoy, maybe. <laughs> um, and I guess I'll catch you guys on the flip side.